What's going on guys? Today I'm going to give you one tool for learning the Japanese phonetic scripts, hiragana and katakana, three dictionaries, two tools for Japanese vocabulary, one tool for Japanese grammar, one tool for kanji or Chinese characters, three amazing tools for Japanese reading practice, and one phenomenal tool for listening and pronunciation practice. And the best part is, they are all completely free. I'll also show you two amazing tools that aren't free, but that you might already have. You just might not realize how great of a Japanese learning tool they are. The Tofugu blog posts for learning hiragana and katakana are where pretty much everyone should start. Throw away Roman characters and learn the hiragana and katakana before you do anything else. It will make your life easier in the long run. And this website teaches it great. You're also going to need a dictionary when learning any new language. For Japanese to English definitions, I use jisho.org when on PC and the app Japanese when on Android or iOS. Japanese is especially good because of its list tool that allows you to make lists for whatever you're learning from, directly from the definitions page. It's an amazing tool for tracking what you're learning. For the more advanced among you who want to try a Japanese to Japanese dictionary, I use the app Weblio. It's good enough, but it's not an offline dictionary, so keep that in mind. Anki is the grandfather of flashcard apps. It shows you cards to review only when you're theoretically about to forget them. There are hundreds of free shared decks created by the community, and you can even make your own, although there is a slight learning curve when it comes to making nice looking decks. I'll post a link in the description to one of the most popular shared beginner vocabulary decks, which contains audio and example sentences, both of which I think are very important for seeing how new words are used and hearing what they sound like. That link will be in the description. Memrise is another flashcard-like website that many people like. I liked Memrise when I was first learning Japanese because of the leaderboards and the user-generated mnemonics, which are often included on the flashcards. Mnemonics are basically just stories that you use to memorize things. A negative with Memrise, though, is that there are rarely example sentences. I'd always go with Anki personally, but this is another option if you hate Anki, which some people do. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people. For grammar, I'd use YouTube, specifically this channel. I've done full lectures on every single grammar lesson in the Genki and Quartet textbooks. I do have premium content on tokenyandy.com as well, but I teach everything here, which is completely free. So get subscribed if you're interested in catching up on Japanese grammar. But there are tons of channels out there teaching grammar on YouTube, so try a few out and see whose explanations make the most sense to you. There are some popular grammar websites out there which I used to recommend, but I've stopped doing so for various reasons. Somewhat major mistakes I started finding over time being one of those reasons. Kanji are the Chinese characters used in most Japanese words. You will want to learn them eventually. I personally used and loved the book Remembering the Kanji by James Hasig, combined with an Anki deck for it. I then learned readings for Kanji by reading and learning them in context of words. I often added the words I couldn't read to an Anki deck, but that book is not free. Wani Kani is popular, but only the first three levels are free. I actually had a whole part written for this video about the website Kanji Garden before realizing that you can't really progress much for free there either. There are almost no free tools that I actually like for Kanji. There are free shared flashcard decks on Anki, but the only problem with that is you don't get to learn about how Kanji are made up or get tips on how to memorize them. For that reason, I'm going to do a new series on Kanji on this channel this year. If you think that's a good idea for a video series, let me know in the comments or just hit the like button, which always helps. If there is a free kanji tool that you like, please let everyone else know down in the comments. Tadoku is a company that makes graded readers for Japanese learners. They sell a set that is very expensive, and they also have paid apps. But for the past few years, they've been releasing lots and lots of free stories on their website. This is a great place to start practicing your reading. They're usually easy stories with audio narration that are easy enough to read without having to translate, which is wonderful. I wish there were way more of these on the internet. We have a ton of stories like this on tokenyandy.com, but unfortunately, that's not free, so we're not talking about that today. For the intermediate and above among you, Shousetsu o Yomo is a place where many Japanese authors get their start. You can find continuing novels being written here, and you can read them for free. 
You can combine them with a browser add-on like Yomi-chan, which allows you to shift click on a word and see the reading and meaning instantly. You can even click a button to automatically create an Anki card. I did a video on how to set up Yomi-chan, which you can check out after this one. That is another tool I highly recommend. Anyway, you can even find the original versions of now very popular series still available on this website today. Novelgame.jp is a fun little site where people release visual novels and other reading heavy games that they created on their own. Some of them seem really good too, and many of them are free. For listening, first you can use the Tadoku site I mentioned earlier because most of the stories have audio included. You can also watch Japanese YouTube videos for listening practice, obviously. But my favorite tool for listening practice is youglish.com slash Japanese. Here, you can do a quick search for a new word or grammar you just learned, and then see tons of videos where that exact word, grammar, or phrase is used. It also has the transcript so you can read along and even click on words for definitions. Or you can use Yomi-chan, which I mentioned earlier. This is just a wonderful way to see how the Japanese you're learning is actually used by real people. You can even shadow these videos, which is an excellent way to practice speaking Japanese even when you don't have anyone to practice with. Another way I like to use this site is by entering a phrase I'm considering using and seeing if it's ever shown in a video. If the turn of phrase I'm trying to use has never appeared in a video, it might not be the right way to say what I'm trying to say. So this can be really helpful. So I promised you two paid tools you might already have. One you might have already guessed. It's Netflix. If you have a Netflix, you already have access to tons of great anime and Japanese dramas. Just switch the language to Japanese in the settings of whatever series you're watching. Even if you are in a country that doesn't have a Japanese version of a show, if you have a VPN service, you can connect to a server in Japan and access even more series in Japanese with Japanese subtitles. So with a VPN and video service, you can basically get endless media in Japanese. And then there's the Nintendo Switch. Change your Nintendo Switch into Japanese from the settings and many of your games will suddenly be playable in Japanese. Some great games for practicing Japanese that you might already have are Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, Animal Crossing, and Ace Attorney. Yokai Watch is also a great place to start if you happen to have a copy. You can actually even create a Japanese language separate account and then access the Japanese Nintendo store, which has a lot of games that aren't available overseas. The channel Game Gengo also did an excellent tier list on the best Nintendo Switch games for learning Japanese. I recommend checking that out to see what else you might already have. What are some tools that I missed or hidden gems that you use in your Japanese learning? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to help support the channel and get tons of learning material in return, check out tokiniandy.com or check out our free and super supportive Discord channel. Link in the description. Check out this video for even more tools to help you learn Japanese.